Running Shorts is here with Jim Simpson, a runner from Huntington Beach, California, who today at the JDL Fast Track in Winston-Salem completed his 1,057th marathon. Uh, tell us a little bit about why so many. That, that's a lot of marathons. Why so many? Okay, well, uh, I uh, retired in uh, 1985. I was 43, and I had always planned on retiring early, but I never figured out what I was going to do, you know, after I retired. So I just started a little fitness program where I ran uh, three miles three days a week. My son and I uh, hiked across the Grand Canyon uh, summer vacation, and I thought, well, I can uh, run a marathon if I can do this. So I started training and ran my first marathon in Los Angeles, 1988. Uh, my number 100 marathon was Los Angeles, 1998. So it took me 10 years to do my first 100 marathons and the next 15 years I've ran 900 so I've kind of up the ante a little bit there but the reason I, I run so many again it's fun uh, I have the uh, ability to do it I'm old I'm slow I'm 71 but I have a great time out here just participating and uh, everything and again going back to why do I run so many I have a friend uh, Larry Macon I met him about eight years ago, and I had heard uh, stories about Larry, uh, you know, running here, running there, and at that time, I, my marathons, I think I had only run 43 that year. So every year since, I've been trying to catch Larry. I've uh, run at least another 10 every year, so last year I ran 132 as my biggest year, and this year I'm looking at running 150. So that's my goal, and I'm on track uh, pretty much for my 150 so uh, it's just something that uh, I have the time to do I'm fortunate to be able to stay in one piece and uh, uh, like I say uh, I think uh, a lot of people could do this if they had the time and the desire that's all it takes because it's really not hard uh, what you do if, if you're going to run a hundred marathons you don't run fast you run easy you know you don't put out much effort you just get to the finish line and you go ahead and run again tomorrow. You know, so uh, as far as uh, a thousand marathons, it's something that, you know, anyone could do. How do you keep yourself healthy? Okay, uh, well, again, it goes back to not putting that much effort. <laughs> you know, so, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm fortunate I'm a, a, a slim person. I'm actually not slim, I'm skinny. I weigh, I'm 6'1", I weigh 155. And uh, I'm just fortunate to have uh, good knees, good joints, good everything. You know, again, uh, I, I'm a slow runner. My, my PR is uh, 323, and I did that at uh, age uh, 56. And, uh, you know, you can only run fast so long, but you can run forever, forever, you know. So, so uh, uh, that's what I do now. You know, I just run as many as I can and have fun see all the new friends that I've made and over the years and uh, meet new people all the time and uh, just, ha just have a great time. Can you talk about your diet a little bit? Okay, my diet, uh, I have like a high carb, a low fat diet. And, uh, you know, I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't eat much meat, you know. Uh, a, a meat a meal for me would be something like a, uh, a, a turkey, be turkey breast, a Subway sandwich, you know, so not much meat in there. But uh, mainly I eat cereals, you know, uh, maybe a couple of times a day. I have pasta in the evening. Uh, after uh, my pre-race meal, I just have a banana. And uh, during the race, I drink Gatorade. I don't drink the water. Normally, I, 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 have, I drink whatever the sports drink is. And if I'm going to run fast or kind of fast, I, I'll take some of the goose, you know, to give me the energy to get all the way through. But... Uh, as far as uh, my, my main diet, it's like say it's like a high carb, low fat. Uh, my my after race meal, uh, and I'll, that's probably what I'll have today. I, uh, what I usually have, I have a bowl of cereal. Uh, I have a uh, a uh, protein drink, and then later maybe I'll have a yogurt uh, and uh, a lot of fluids, you know, to try to recover to again run again tomorrow. You know, so uh, it's a pretty simple diet. Now, how do you get from race to race? And I understand you have a, a certain distinction from your travels. Okay. Uh, I travel uh, right in my ca uh, camper. I have a truck and camper. And uh, my camper has, you know, it's really my home. And I have everything you can think of in there, uh, you know. So 
I'm not, I don't do it that much. And uh, so I just, uh, basically I live at Walmart. I stay at Walmart overnight. I take and uh, just drive from, you know, one Walmart to the next, to the, my next races. And uh, uh, a lot of people have asked me, you know, uh, what will cause you to stop running or when will you stop running? And so usually my answer is, is if Walmart won't let me stay overnight anymore or if my GPS goes out. So <laughs> uh, that, those are the two main things that I uh, basically have to have to do the marathons I have. And another thing that uh, I can say as far as running all my marathons, uh, I had mentioned before, you know, that I've uh, been divorced for about 15 years, but I, I still have a, probably the biggest sweetheart uh, wife, ex-wife in the world. She takes care of all my finances while I'm gone, pays my bills, uh, just takes care, of, takes care of everything. We talk on the phone almost every day. She's remarried and everything, but uh, like I say, we have an excellent relationship. So she is really a big part of me being able to stay out on the road and, uh, you know, run uh, marathons all the time. Now, where will you go from here? Okay, uh, this, uh, this, this coming Saturday, I'll run the Sand Hills Marathon in uh, Valentine, uh, Nebraska on Saturday. And then I'll go over and run the uh, Swan Lake Marathon in uh, Viborg, uh, South Dakota. And, uh, you know, just go on and on from there. All right, that so, sounds good. Okay. Well, best of luck in your travels. Congratulations on your achievement, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much. And, uh, again, to everyone, I... Uh, you can do anything you want to do. All you have to do is believe you can. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.